I can already hear the complaining. Oh, why you got to do another one of these videos, man? Listen, I feel like when I do these videos, bro, I could possibly, and it might be even my own, save somebody's life, bro, with just waking you up to the notion of what are you putting in your body? What are we putting in our bodies? And if I can make you just think about it a little bit, you may choose a different option sometimes. Maybe not all the times. We're not all perfect. I know I'm not. So here we are again with another one of these videos, bro. You will never eat this again after knowing how it's made. Food is an essential part of our lives. Many of us enjoy eating as if our well-being depends on it. However, there's much to discover about the origins of our food. Different types of foods exist, ranging from nutritious options to indulgent treats that bring us joy. Yet, some people overlook the intricate details of how these foods are created, which could significantly impact your choices, from the truth about gelatin to the rats lurking in your pepper. Here are 20 foods you may think twice about after learning how they're made. Number 20, the reality of gelatin. Gelatin is a commonly recognized ingredient that appears in a wide variety of products, ranging from desserts to certain medicines. Manufacturers often disclose its presence, yet they typically gloss over the specifics of its source, which might not align with your expectations. At its core, gelatin is a type of protein. While that sounds harmless at first, the method of extracting it involves boiling down animal parts. Specifically, the skin, tendons, ligaments, and bones of cows or pigs are utilized in this process. Oh, we just getting started and y'all already taking us there? Let me see if I can get this video a little bit clearer. I don't know why they be doing that sometimes. Nope, it still don't get no clearer. That's the best I can get y'all with. Oh, we, get, we just getting started and it's already turning my stomach. This revelation can certainly alter your perception of that jiggly dessert. So, what exactly does gelatin do in these products? It serves primarily as a thickening agent, giving structure to items like jello, gummy candies, and pudding. Beyond its culinary uses, gelatin plays a role in clarifying beverages like wine and is even incorporated into the production of capsules for various medications. Interestingly, it can also be found in cosmetics and skincare products, which means that when you apply these items, you're essentially putting a bit of pig or cow on your skin. This multifaceted ingredient reveals a lot about our food system and how it intertwines with our everyday lives in ways we might not consider. So think about that the next time somebody walks up to you and be like, oh, you are eating meat? I stopped eating meat a long time ago. Did you now? And you just watch them pop a pill and then you'd be like, hmm, you just had that medicine? How it tastes good to you, huh? Hmm. Moo. Just start mooing at moo. <laughs> Number 19. Rodent remnants in your spices. Now let's delve into a topic that many might find particularly unsettling. Rodents. If you've seen The Suicide Squad, you may have developed a fondness for rats because of the character Cleo. However, it's essential not to let that charm mislead you. Rats can harbor numerous harmful substances, and their waste can inadvertently infiltrate a variety of food items. Spices like fennel seeds, ginger, and even certain herbs are often susceptible to traces of rat droppings. This unfortunate reality is primarily due to the environments in which these plants are cultivated, where rodent activity can lead to contamination. The FDA is aware of this issue and does acknowledge it, albeit with some hesitation. You may have heard the urban legend about rat urine contaminating soda cans and leading to illness, but in reality, the likelihood of contracting anything from such a scenario is incredibly low. Still, the idea that rodent remains could be present in some of your favorite foods is certainly an off-putting thought. It's a reminder of the less glamorous side of food production, and it encourages us to be more aware of the origins and processes behind what we consume. Understanding these realities can help us make more informed choices about the foods we bring into our homes and our bodies. Number 18. The truth about hydrolyzed soy protein and MSG. 
Hydrolyzed soy protein MSG may sound complex, but it's crucial to understand what this ingredient is and what it represents. On its own, hydrolyzed soy protein isn't necessarily harmful. However, the processes involved in its production often include the addition of MSG. This compound enhances the flavors of many foods, which leads some people to overlook the potential downsides. Unfortunately, many consumers are not pleased with this situation. For those sensitive to MSG, the presence of this ingredient can be a significant concern. There are movements advocating for the removal of MSG from food products altogether. However, since it's become a standard ingredient in many industries, companies are not always required to label it. This lack of transparency can leave consumers unaware of what's truly in their food. Number 17. The surprising presence of carbon monoxide in meat. Carbon monoxide, yes, the same gas that can be lethal if inhaled. It's alarming to learn that this dangerous gas can be found in some types of meat. While we all know the dangers of carbon monoxide exposure, its use in food packaging is surprisingly common. This gas is introduced into vacuum-sealed meat packages to help preserve freshness. It extends shelf life and reduces spoilage, which ultimately saves companies money. However, the thought of consuming something that can be fatal in other contexts is unnerving. As a meat lover, it's hard to accept that a toxic gas is part of the process. So, I, am I supposed to have a gas monitor nearby when I go to open my meat to see if it goes off? Or either gives me any type of reading? Like, how did we get here, bro? This is ridiculous. This, this is crazy. While the benefits for shelf life might be appealing to producers, I personally wouldn't want to take that risk with my food. Number 16, the bug connection in jelly beans. Let's dive into a surprising ingredient found in one of the most cherished candies, jelly beans. Before you panic, it's essential to clarify that the taste of jelly beans doesn't come from insect parts. Instead, it's the appearance that benefits from an extract called shellac. This glossy coating is secreted by certain female insects known as lac bugs. They literally produce this substance which is then harvested and processed. To make it usable, shellac is dissolved in ethanol, a substance also found in gasoline, resulting in a shiny coating that is sprayed on candies. While some manufacturers have switched to alternative coatings in response to consumer concerns, many still use shellac. For those who prefer to avoid insect products, this practice can be quite off-putting. Number 15 insect parts in cinnamon now let's revisit an unsettling topic the presence of insect parts in common food items cinnamon for instance is particularly notorious for this issue it's reported that approximately 400 insect fragments can be found in every 50 grams of cinnamon this figure is staggering especially since most people would expect far fewer perhaps less than four the reality is that during the harvesting process, bugs inevitably get caught up with the cinnamon plants. As the cinnamon is processed, these insects are often ground up and remain within the final product. Unlike with peanut butter, where larger pieces may be noticeable, the fine grinding of cinnamon means that these bug parts are less likely to be seen. However, the knowledge that such contaminants could be present might make some reconsider using cinnamon altogether. So we've been eating bugs our whole life. You're looking at a kid who grew up on cinnamon toast. Boy, nothing smelled good in the morning before school. Like a piece of cinnamon toast in that oven. You done, oh my gosh, that smell, that aroma. You couldn't wait for it to be done. Oh my gosh. And I was eating bugs the whole time? Number 14, the truth about McNuggets. Let's take a moment to be honest about McDonald's, shall we? Are you ready for some real talk? When it comes to their food, McDonald's is not exactly the most transparent when it comes to the ingredients and processes they utilize. Just think that infamous ice cream machine that often seems to be out of order. Now, what if I told you that McNuggets, the ones you've been enjoying for years, 
might not be completely made of chicken as they claim. You might dismiss this as trivial, but the truth is that only 50% of the contents in those nuggets is actually chicken. The other half comprises artificial ingredients that many would find concerning. Before you rush to defend these nuggets by saying that the added substances enhance flavor, consider where some of these ingredients originate. They include items with complex names that are hard to pronounce, such as dimethylpolysiloxane. This particular compound is found in products like Silly Putty, which already raises eyebrows regarding its culinary appropriateness. Moreover, it serves as an anti-foaming agent in various applications. McDonald's has not shied away from discussing this controversial ingredient, even claiming that the FDA has found no adverse effects from consuming it. However, this begs the question, is that truly the level of reassurance we should expect when consuming our food? It's a stark reminder that we should be more cautious about what we eat. Number 13. Peanut Butter and Rat Hair Peanut butter is undeniably one of life's great pleasures. Whether you favor it creamy or crunchy, this versatile spread enhances a variety of snacks and meals. From PB&Js to smoothies, it seems like there's nothing that peanut butter can't improve. Yeah, I had me a good old PB&J this week, man. As a matter of fact, it was yesterday. Yesterday. Yep, around 2 o'clock. It's just every now and then I, I gotta have one, bro. That takes me back to my childhood, fam. Good. Back then, I used to make them take the crust off of it, but now I eat the crust. Look at the growth. Look at the growth in me. However, even this beloved food isn't without its questionable elements. Surprisingly, the issue here isn't that harmful ingredients are intentionally added. Rather, it's about the accidental contamination that poses significant concerns for consumers. These contaminants are shipped around the globe, leading to some unsettling stories that the FDA refers to as natural contaminants. So, what are these so-called natural contaminants? They include tiny pieces of insects and, yes, rat hair. It may sound unbelievable, but this is a reality. How does this contamination occur? Think about the environments in which peanuts are harvested. The equipment used in processing doesn't precisely filter out these unwanted items. As a result, various contaminants can inadvertently make their way into the final product. Although such occurrences are rare, they serve as a reminder that our food can sometimes come with unexpected surprises. While you likely don't need to inspect every jar of peanut butter you buy, it's still wise to remain aware as you enjoy your next delightful peanut butter sandwich. Number 12. Ice Cream's Hidden Ingredients Now let's take a moment to further ruin your enjoyment of ice cream. Why? Because I can. Previously, we discussed how beaver glands contribute to the flavor of vanilla ice cream, but there's even more to uncover. How about the unsettling fact that some ice creams contain antifreeze? This isn't a joke or a mere exaggeration. The ingredient propylene glycol, commonly used in car antifreeze, also makes its way into numerous ice cream products. This raises a significant question. What is it doing in your favorite dessert? Propylene glycol plays a crucial role in preventing ice cream from freezing too solidly. It ensures that store-bought ice cream scoops effortlessly right out of the container, unlike homemade varieties, which often require a bit of time to soften up. This chemical not only facilitates the ease of scooping, but also helps minimize ice crystal formation, keeping the texture smooth and creamy. So why isn't this information more widely known among consumers? The simple answer is that it's a standard practice in the industry. Because of this, manufacturers are not required to disclose the presence of propylene glycol on their product labels. This lack of transparency can leave consumers in the dark about what they're really consuming. Number 11. Fishy Additives Previously, we explored how fish can enhance various products and how they are also at risk for contamination. To dig even deeper into this topic, let's discuss a chemical known as sodium tripolophosphate. This substance can be found in many seafood items and is often not labeled on the packaging. It's used to make fish appear firmer and glossier, which some consumers might mistakenly interpret as higher quality. While some might think this addition is beneficial, I personally don't see the need for such additives. The process involves soaking fish in sodium tripolophosphate rather than just a light sprinkling of the substance. 
This soaking technique is common in seafood processing, particularly for items like shrimp and scallops. However, this practice raises several significant concerns. If the soaking process isn't executed properly, it can lead to fish that are overly waterlogged, affecting both texture and flavor. More critically, sodium tripolophosphate has been identified as a potential neurotoxin, making it even more concerning for consumers. So, the next time you order seafood, it might be a good idea to inquire whether the scallops are dry. This see, this is where we went wrong, right? And, and, and I see it now. I understand it now. Texture, look, and shelf life seems to be the major reasons as to where we took the wrong turn and started implementing all these chemicals and different ingredients into our food, bro. No longer do we receive it fresh out of the ocean or, or fresh off of a farm or anything like that. No, they got to add so much into it because they want it to, to maximize this potential of it. They don't want to throw it away. So the longer it sits there, eventually somebody will come by. It. It's less likely to be thrown away. Or, or the price reduced or whatever. But that's where we went wrong. This simple question could save you from potential issues later on, as knowledge about what goes into our food is essential for making informed choices. Time for the fancy topic. A shocking behind the scenes look into a popular product's production process has left many people swearing off it forever. You will never eat this again after knowing how it's made. The image shows rows of golden eggs being prepared in a factory, but these aren't your typical eggs. These are mass-produced, factory-made, artificial eggs, created with a combination of chemicals and synthetic materials. Workers in the factory use paint and machinery to give these artificial eggs their perfect golden sheen, making them look almost identical to the real thing. What makes it unsettling is that the process involves ingredients that most consumers would never expect to find in their food. From the chemical dyes used to create the glossy finish to the synthetic shell, the entire production process feels like a betrayal to anyone expecting a natural product. Would you still feel comfortable eating something that's made this way? Have you ever been shocked by how a favorite food is produced? Let us know in the comments with the hashtag fancy topic. Number 10. The Dark Side of Honey Honey is generally perceived as a wholesome and natural food that most people trust without hesitation. Why is that? Likely because it's produced by bees, who are dedicated to their hives and create this sweet substance for their own survival. The quality of honey is typically associated with the diligent efforts of these industrious insects. However, there is a concerning aspect to honey that isn't widely known. Sometimes a toxic byproduct can make its way into the honey. When ingested, this neurotoxin can lead to severe symptoms, including dizziness, excessive sweating, nausea, and even vomiting. These symptoms are alarming and highlight the potential dangers associated with consuming contaminated honey. This phenomenon is known as mad honey poisoning, a term that sounds dramatic but underscores the seriousness of the issue. This is a vital reminder that even the most natural products can have hidden risks, emphasizing the need for vigilance regarding food safety. Number 9. Fishy Ingredients in Your Beer Beer is a universal beverage that has been enjoyed for centuries, offering countless varieties and flavors. While it can certainly lead to enjoyable experiences, it can also have a darker side when consumed in excess. When crafted with care and precision, beer can be a delightful drink, but many consumers are unaware of an ingredient that might surprise them. Isinglass. This ingredient, derived from fish bladders, has been used in the brewing process since the 19th century. It acts as a clarifying agent, helping to enhance the appearance of the beer, making it bright and clear. This is important because many people appreciate a visually appealing drink. However, the use of ice in glass raises significant concerns for those who avoid animal products or follow vegetarian or vegan diets. There has been a growing demand for breweries to replace Isinglass with alternatives, especially since it can reportedly strip some flavors from the beer. Many enthusiasts are left wondering why such a common practice isn't more openly discussed. The intersection of tradition and modern dietary preferences continues to spark debates in the brewing community, making it essential for consumers to be informed about what goes into their drinks. 
Number 8. The Surprising Ingredient of Coal Tar Dye You might be scratching your head trying to figure out which foods or products contain coal tar. The answer might surprise you, as it's not what you'd expect. Various items, particularly those with vibrant orange or yellow artificial colors, include coal tar in their formulations. You may find this dye in sodas, flavored chips, cheeses, and even pickles. Known as tartrazine, this color additive originates from industrial waste, raising significant health concerns. Many people may not want to think about coal tar being part of their diet, given its origins and potential side effects. Research has suggested a connection between tartrazine and hyperactivity in children, which has prompted serious discussions about its safety. In the European Union, products containing tartrazine are required to display warning labels to inform consumers. Unfortunately, the situation is even more troubling in the United States, where the FDA does not mandate such warnings. This lack of... So this confirms my suspicion about the diagnosis of maybe like an ADD or ADHD or whatever it is. You know, they eat certain things, the kids eat certain things, and it's all big business to me. It's all a cycle of big business. They, you feed them this, that they give, you get from the store, they know it's going to get those kids hyped up, and that's what it's going to do. They're going to need medicine. So now they make money, they make money. Ultimately, we lose, lose in the whole situation. That's what you're ultimately seeing here. Transparency raises questions about food safety regulations and consumer protection. It makes one wonder whose interests are truly being prioritized in the food industry, reminding us to be vigilant about what we consume. Number seven, the unseen bug dye. If you're noticing a recurring theme, you're not alone. Many food dyes originate from surprising sources, including insects. You might assume that dyes are created solely from synthetic chemicals, but that's not always the case. In fact, certain dyes are derived from bugs, and this practice is more common than you might think. For example, you may have unknowingly consumed cochineal extract, a dye made from female insects. This ingredient is often used in popular products, including those from major brands like Starbucks. The use of cochineal dates back to ancient civilizations, particularly the Aztecs, who discovered its ability to produce vibrant, long-lasting colors. Fast forward to today, and the demand for natural colorings in food has led to a resurgence of this insect-derived dye. However, many consumers are understandably uncomfortable with the idea of eating insects, leading to a push for alternatives. Allergic reactions to this extract have also contributed to its declining popularity. As a result, companies like Starbucks have begun to phase out cochineal in response to consumer preferences, illustrating the evolving landscape of food production and dietary choices. Number six, ice cream with a beaver twist. If you thought the previous entry was unsettling, brace yourself for this one. Ice cream is often considered one of the most delightful treats on the planet, especially for those who aren't lactose intolerant. It comes in a plethora of flavors, can be adorned with toppings like sprinkles, and is known to lift spirits. However, if vanilla ice cream is your favorite, you might want to reconsider. You could be consuming a surprising ingredient, part of the beaver. Yes, you read that correctly. When it comes to vanilla flavoring, there's a substance known as castorium, that is derived from beavers. This natural flavoring can make its way into both natural and artificial vanilla products. The catch is that obtaining castorium involves using glands located near a beaver's rear. It's important to note that not all vanilla flavoring contains this ingredient, but a notable amount does. This extract has been so prized that beavers were once nearly hunted to extinction. Thankfully, those practices have been curtailed, but if you're a fan of ice cream, this revelation might just cool your enthusiasm. Number five, tuna and toxic metals. Your interest might be piqued by this topic. Among the many harmful substances to avoid in food, mercury stands out as particularly dangerous. Excessive mercury exposure can lead to a range of health issues. One of the fish that often carries this risk is tuna. Studies have shown that tuna can harbor not only mercury, but also other heavy metals such as arsenic, lead, and tin. The levels found can pose significant health threats, making this a serious concern for seafood lovers. 
So what leads to such contamination? The answer lies in the increasingly polluted waters where these fish reside. Tuna, while not directly ingesting mercury, accumulates these toxic substances through the food chain. As they consume smaller fish that have also been contaminated, the metals transfer into their bodies. This issue is not isolated, it's widespread. Research tested various brands of tuna, and alarmingly, all were found to contain high levels of mercury and other harmful metals. This situation isn't just unpleasant, it's potentially lethal. Number four. Now see, at the end, I, I can't help but feel like, you know what? And this is what I go through, so you might as well see it in real time. I be on my health kick, and then I hear all this stuff, and I be like, you know what? At this point, it just don't matter. I might as well enjoy it while I'm here. And I go through that till I have to break myself out of that to realize, no, my family needs me. My kids need me. My wife needs me. Everybody needs me. You know what I mean? So it's not like I could be selfish in that manner. I need to do right. I need to do better. But this is the rut that I'll fall in and I'll go through these peaks and valleys dealing with food and how I should feel about it. I'm serious. The goat cheese revelation. Many of you have likely tasted goat cheese and enjoyed its unique flavor. However, let's take a moment to examine the cheese making process itself. Traditionally, cheese production can be traced back to the use of goats. Not just their milk, but more shockingly, their stomachs. This method might sound a bit off-putting, but it was quite effective. Early cheese makers would remove the goat's stomach and use it to transport milk, making the most of every part of the animal. While it may be unappealing, this technique helped create what we know today as cheese. If the milk wasn't processed quickly enough, it would curdle, resulting in cheese curds. These curds are indeed edible and form the basis of many cheeses. Though goats are credited with this ancient method, it's likely that similar practices occurred with sheep, cows, and other animals. The discovery that goat stomachs facilitated cheese production led to the evolution of cheesemaking techniques over time. So, if you're seeking the essence of traditional cheese, look no further than the goat. Number 3. The Reality of Chickens and Their Eggs Chances are that you or someone you know enjoys eating chicken. It's safe to assume that many of you savor different chicken parts prepared in a multitude of ways. You might head to KFC for their crispy fried chicken, whip up chicken breasts in the slow cooker for a hearty meal, grab some chicken nuggets for a quick snack, or relish the versatility of chicken eggs. Eggs can be cooked in countless styles, whether scrambled, poached, fried, or baked, which is truly impressive. However, the most shocking aspect lies not in the culinary possibilities, but in the treatment of the chickens themselves. The conditions on many chicken farms are often appalling, raising significant animal rights concerns. You may have come across disturbing images or videos showing overcrowded coops where chickens can barely move or even stretch their wings. In some cases, these birds live in dark, cramped spaces without any access to natural light. Reports from various animal rights organizations have documented instances of chickens being beaten, mutilated, or even subjected to torture in the relentless pursuit of egg production, only to be discarded once they are no longer deemed useful. This industry is fraught with controversy, and many individuals are vocal about the ethical implications surrounding chicken farming practices. Moreover, the public's awareness of these issues has led to calls for greater transparency and more humane practices in poultry farming. Many consumers are becoming increasingly concerned about where their food comes from and the conditions under which it is produced. With various documentaries and exposés shedding light on these practices, it's clear that the chicken industry is a hot topic. If you're enjoying this content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification you know what song is like echoing my back in the back of my mind as they were showing all that chicken and those little baby chicks and stuff? Love that chicken from Popeyes. Sorry, sorry, I, I gotta be honest. Vacation bell. Otherwise, you might just wake up to find a centipede crawling on your face while you sleep. Number two, the shocking truth about juice. When you think of juice, you likely envision a delicious beverage that offers a refreshing change from water, milk, or soda. Juice is often consumed for its delightful flavor and potential health benefits. 
making it a popular choice for many. But what if I told you that one of your favorite juices could contain arsenic? You might be asking which juice I'm referring to. The answer is apple juice, of course. If you're sipping on some right now, you might want to put it down for a moment. This revelation created quite a stir when it first surfaced, catching many people off guard. It's not the first time concerns have been raised about apple juice, and to complicate matters, the claim originated from Dr. Oz, who isn't always viewed as a reliable source. Surprisingly, he was correct this time. Tests conducted on various brands revealed that certain batches of apple juice contain alarming levels of arsenic, which poses serious health risks. It's essential to understand where this contamination originates to grasp the full picture. Most of the apple juice consumed in the U.S. comes from China, a country known for having looser regulations regarding pesticide use compared to the United States. This lack of oversight allows harmful substances like arsenic to seep into the juice during the growing and processing phases. As a result, consumers are unknowingly drinking a product that could contain hazardous chemicals. This unsettling truth serves as a reminder that it's vital to be aware of the origins of the food and beverages we consume, prompting a closer look at labeling and sourcing practices. Number 1. Hair in your bread? Have you ever been cooking and noticed a stray hair in your meal? It can be off-putting, but typically you just remove it and continue with your day. You might chalk it up to your own hair falling out at an inconvenient moment, but imagine finding someone else's hair in your store-bought food. A shocked scream would certainly be an appropriate response. Now let's clarify that we aren't discussing ordinary hair. The hair in question is linked to a specific amino acid used to condition bread and enhance its texture. The issue arises because the primary method for obtaining this amino acid is through the extraction of human hair. In China, factories collect large amounts of hair from various sources, which they then process to create a liquid form of this amino acid. This practice is more widespread than many people realize, and yes, it's undeniably disgusting. The thought that human hair is being repurposed for use in food production is enough to make anyone squirm. Most consumers are completely unaware of this process, making it even more shocking when they learn the truth. As unsettling as it is, it's crucial to recognize the lengths some manufacturers will go to in order to enhance their products. With food safety regulations varying across countries, many consumers may not know what goes into their food. This revelation serves as a reminder of the importance of being informed about what we eat. So the next time you find a hair in your food, you might want to think twice about what that hair could represent and realize it may be more than just an unfortunate accident. Which of these foods will you never eat again?